out of words. A new musical at the Old Globe explores the mess and beauty of loss and love. It's told through the eyes of a 16-year-old girl. KPBS Arts Calendar editor Nina Guerin introduces us to the playwright and director. Life After is a new musical by an extraordinarily talented Canadian woman named Britta Johnson, who wrote the book, music, and lyrics to the show. Uh, and it is a sweet, terribly moving story about the coming of age of a 16-year-old young woman um, against the backdrop of the loss of her father in an accident. And as she comes to terms with the grief that has overwhelmed her, she starts to make some connections about her life and finding her own voice and finding a path forward. I wrote the book, the music, and the lyrics. Yeah, I wrote the whole thing. I did all three jobs because I didn't know any better. I started writing it when I was 18. I didn't really realize that it's usually <laughs> three different people. And that's just kind of how the piece started to grow. But for this particular show, the music and lyric and text scenes all kind of weave together in a very particular way. It's very music heavy. The music really drives the story. So I'm primarily a composer in the rest of my life. But for this kind of music driven piece, it makes sense for me to wear all the hats. But I truly just didn't know any better. That's why it happened. <laughs> what once was black and white is turned to gray, all different shades so strange and I looked at the show and I said to myself and my, the staff here at the Globe said, wow, we haven't seen anything like this. Um, the, the tone of the piece is really rich and complex because on the one hand it's a story of grief and loss, but on the other hand it's a story of a kind of quirky 16-year-old. And as the father of a preteen myself, I know that the connections that happen in a teenage mind are um, very, very idiosyncratic and surprising. It's a story of a, an, of, a, of a very, very deep, uncommonly deep bond between a father and a daughter. So personally, that's where I connected with it because my daughter is the apple of my eye and the light of my life and all those other things. And contemplating the horrible notion of me not being there to see her grow up just moved me and touched me very, very deeply. This piece isn't at all autobiographical. It isn't my family story, but I lost my father. And that is something I share with the lead character that my father passed away when I was 13. So the seeds of it, at least, the way that it feels, the way it sounds, the the central questions of it. I think I was pulling from, from questions I knew about asking, and then it expanded into a universe that's, that's pretty far from my own. But uh, I think the, the core of it is, is some kind of truth that I can relate to. And that I think we all can relate to because loss is one of the most universal things. It's, it's a guarantee that we're all going to go through it, you know? I've always just thought that we should say things how we see them. One of the things that's really important about this story is that it's about a, a young woman. Um, the musical theater, sadly, regrettably, is, just doesn't tell a lot of stories about girls and their growing up. Handful here and there, but not a lot. So the first thing that really made us pay attention to this was that it's, it's a story written by a woman and about the journey of a woman growing up and dealing with this thing, and that was, that was really, really important to us. The foundation of it remains the same, but it's, it's expanded exponentially in its scope and its scale, and it's the scale of its vision. The team here, the creative team, is absolutely incredible, world-class, and collaborating with them have, has turned it into a piece I never could have imagined on my own, and it's the largest stage my work has ever been on. So. The, the core of it remains exactly the same as it always has been, as it's been since I was 18, but it's, it's grown in scope, in scale. <laughs>